Okay, this time on eggs. We're going to do egg drop soup. A very nice, hearty, lean, full of protein soup that takes five minutes. Okay, so you need some toasted sesame oil, some cornstarch, some chicken stock, if not homemade. Kitchen Basics is probably one of the better brands. Some powdered ginger, powdered garlic, a few chilies, some scallion, three eggs, salt and pepper to taste as well as some of those extra chives we had from the other day. Just remember when we cut these guys off, save them, use them for our little garden in the cup there. Okay, those chives I was saying from the other day, we're gonna use them, we're gonna mince them up really fine again, and just throw them in as well. They'll give a lot of flavor along with the chopped scallion. So, Also for my heat at the end, I like to add more um, chilies this is like an over ripened jalapeno but it's got a heat not too much but you could have a bunch of them without burning your mouth so after you get your eggs scrambled the trick I learned was to put it into a squeeze bottle it helps to make the ribbons as per the recipe a lot more fluid especially when you're stirring the egg into the broth here the meat chives the dry ingredients sesame oil cornstarch salt and pepper to taste our scallions as well as our chili for the end and of course our squeeze bottle with the egg in it that's really gonna make a big difference especially when we add it to the broth so to start off the broth we're gonna add our entire container of chicken stock because we need four cups so that container of 32 ounces is four cups right there so the basic thing we want we want to bring this up to a simmer okay we don't want to boil it because if it's boiling and it's too rough, it's going to not give you those perfect strands of egg, which a real egg drop soup has. Okay, so we're going to go in now and add our dry stuff. We're going to put in our ginger, our garlic, and our cornstarch. And what the cornstarch does is it gives the um, body and thickness to the soup itself. So we mix it in. A lot of Asian dishes have uh, cornstarch in them. For that reason to thicken up it's actually more healthier than using like a roux which is flour and butter okay so i'm going to incorporate this well i want to make sure all that cornstarch is well absorbed so it doesn't clump because it's going to help to thicken the soup as well as give it a bit of flavor but we want to keep this at a medium heat we don't want to bring it to a boil once to just bring it up to a simmer Okay, just let it chill. So now I've let it simmer. You can see the bubbles around the rim starting to come up, so that's a sign it's simmering. And you could also tell that it's about um, to thicken up. You could tell by the cornstarch or the slurry that we've created with the stock. It's really trying to bring that together now. So I'm just going to give a final stir, let it get more thick. Okay. If I were to boil this right now, the cornstarch would thicken this up really, really too thick. So we don't want it like gelatinous. Okay. So now we're going to take our eggs and we're going to slowly ribbon them in. So by holding up the squeeze bottle and just letting it pour out, and with one hand, you know, stir, the other hand, squeeze the bottle. It's got to be kind of ambidextrous. This is good for drummers, this kind of stuff. Okay, so just as you squeeze, gently stir at the same time. Because if you were just dump this in, you would just have a globs and globs of egg, and you don't want that. You want these quote-unquote threads of egg. So just go around in a circular motion. It also helps to have, you know, a Western-style wok or a round-bottom wok where you can get a good vortex going, okay? And just like with the poached eggs, have a good vortex. So at this point, I've turned the heat off completely. And I'm going to just let the egg stir off the heat just gently swirl it keep swirling them a little bit you can see those nice threads add in my scallions at this point let it incorporate add your chives me I like a lot of chive but I leave some for garnish as well Yeah, this is really coming together nice. The cornstarch and the egg really thicken naturally. 
some salt and pepper to taste, but not our regular pepper. Traditionally, in most Asian cultures, they use, you know, many different peppers. In this dish, the recipe usually always called for white pepper. It's a little strong, so go lightly, tread lightly, because we're going to add more seasoning at the end as well. So we'll give it a couple final stirs, and we'll get ready to plate this up. And finish it with the toasted sesame oil. Really gives the aroma, gives the flavor. And nowadays, a lot of takeout places don't even use sesame oil because it's expensive. But it really brings the dish together, and that aroma really stands out. And if you know sesame oil, you know what I mean, guys. It's very good. All right, so let's plate this guy up. All right. So I got my ladle. I'm just going to ladle it into my nice ceramic bowl from Kohl's, wherever I got this, that I use for making ramen soups and other Asian-inspired soups and stews. There it is right there. Still got the price tag on it. <laughs> so put it up four or five ladlefuls in. Make sure, try to keep the sides clean. Remember, no restaurant wants to have dirty rims or dirty bowl mouths and all that stuff and dirty cups. And You want to be neat with your presentation. All right, so let me put that to the side. Get my plate with my spoon. Let's center it nicely. And so we're going to top it off just with some of those chilies, some of those uh, more chives, a little more scallion. And, of course, me, I always love with this dish, and a lot of my friends do as well, and students, is to finish it with a little bit of the hot uh, chili oil or the sesame chili oil. But I like the hot one. More than the hot sesame one because, you know, it's got too much flavor, too overpowering. But add your chilies on top. And these are red chilies. They're not like finger chilies or Fresno chilies. They're almost, uh, they pretty much are um, overripe jalapenos. They're the same kind of jalapenos they use um, when making um, sriracha, actually. It's the same red jalapenos. So get a little garnish and then we'll finish it with our oil. And then we're good to go. Okay, I hope you guys try this. It's very simple, very easy dish. Most people always say, oh, I don't." they think, um, you know, egg drop soup is nasty, but I'm telling you, I've converted a lot of students over the years with this dish because it's really simple. If you have these ingredients on hand, most of the time you do, it takes no time to just put it all together, especially when it's really cold outside. This is a good cold weather dish. Thanks again, guys. Take care. Have a great day.